Three white men run the plantation. The youngest, Herbert, claims me. He names me Mary. I give him nothing but detached derision, yet the fool is fixated with me. The plantation is a gold mine for the Randolphs and a graveyard for Africans. I am lucky. I work in the big house. I am soon with child, but unlike other such girls, I remain in my owner's bed. Herbert's infatuation infuriates his father and brother, and the cruel overseer, Wilbert Olson, who has his vicious eye upon me. They are evil men. I despise Herbert, but he is the best of a wicked lot. I've built a sugar empire. I enjoy money, prestige. I've enjoyed countless African girls, but I'll be damned if there's been one that comes anywhere close to that canny little witch, Mary. When will Herbert share? Mary beguiles me. She's my world. I dote on and indulge her, protect her from father and Bernard, yet I get nothing in return. She's obedient, but always detached, unattainable, and I want much more. Herbert struggles to win my favor. He has my body yet yearns for my love. But he'll get nothing beyond what he has the power to take. My ancestors walk beside me. Their strength supports me. I am Antelope, renamed Mary. Watch for further episodes or read the complete saga of my incredible journey. Antelope by Maria Hannah Whitley. Available at Amazon and other online bookstores.